Hey everyone, and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel. And it also helps us reach others who want to test their math skills with these types of test questions. So this will be our 24th part in this math skills series. And what we have going on in this one is that we have to determine the area in orange for our circle shown here. So we are told a bit of information. So let's go through that. We are told that D E to F forms an equilateral triangle. D to E and D to F here are tangent to the smaller blue circle at points A and B. The two circles only touch at point C along the edge here, and the blue circle has a radius of one meter. So in order to determine the area of our circle here, we need to know what the radius of that orange circle is, and we will also need to know what this angle occurring at D is. Because what we can do is that we can get the radius, we can get our overall area for the entire circle, and then we can get our angle here and then subtract out how much of this circle is missing here in white. So we need to know these two pieces of information. So let's start working on that. Well, we're going to start with angle D because it is very quick to get because we are told right away that we have an equilateral triangle forming here from D to E and then down to F. So anytime you have an equilateral triangle, what that means is that that angle that forms there well, any of the angles inside the equilateral triangle will automatically be 60 degrees regardless of the length. So, boom, that one's done. All righty. So the radius is going to be a little bit trickier to get, but it's not super difficult. So let's draw our center of our blue circle, and let's call it point G. Actually, I'm going to move it down here. So we're going to call that point G. Let's also draw from our tangent points to the center of G here. So we're going from A to G and then G to B. Well, since these are tangent points, anytime you draw from the radius to your point of tangency with that point, it will form a 90 degree angle with that tangent line. Alrighty. Well, how does this help us? Well, what we can do here is that we can draw a line from D to G here. And we will have two right triangles forming. Well, looking at what we can do here is that we know from D or from G to C is one meter for the radius of the blue circle. And since they are only touching at point C for the two circles. So all we have to do is find DG and then add one meter to it, and that would give us our radius. So how do we find D to G? Well, we are told that this is a tangent line, and this is a tangent line here. Anytime you have two tangent lines uh, meeting up at a singular point, those two distances are going to be equal. So our distance from D to A will be equal to our distance from D to B. Well, we also know that A to G and then G to B is also equal at one meter here. So anytime you have these sides being equal and <clears throat> they are sharing the hypotenuse here, what that means is this angle right here is going to be split in half at 30 degrees and 30 degrees due to AD being equal to DB and then AG being equal to GB here. So what we have going on here is a right triangle. If we just want to look at this bottom one, the right triangle from D to GB is that we have 30 degree angle, a right triangle with one meter over here. So we're looking for GD or DG, which way you want to pronounce it. Well, how would we find that? Well, we would just use the sine of our angle, which is 30 degrees is equal to our BG over our DG. Well, BG is just going to be one meter. So once you rearrange and solve for DG, it ends up being two meters there because sine of 30 is one half. So to get our overall radius, we would just add this DG to the one meter from G to C, and that would end up being three meters for our radius. Okay, so now we have to determine how much of our area is missing. Well, we would just take our angle of that portion, which is 60 degrees, over the total of the circle, which is 360. And that means we're missing one sixth of our total circle here. So the area shown in orange would just be 5 sixths of our total circle area. So that'd be 5 sixths times pi r squared, which would be 5 pi times 3 meters squared over 6. And this would give me a total area of 15 pi over 2 meters squared or 23.56 meters squared. 
as my final answers for this area shown in orange. <clears throat> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a new math skill from it. And if you want to test your abilities even further, please check out the other videos on our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.